I shave every day for work down on my neck, and I eventually started feeling something about July or so. That's kind of weird. You better get the doctor. You know, cancer was not even a blip on our radar. Never even occurred to us. So I make an appointment with my primary care physician. I go in there, and, and he's uh, feeling my lymph nodes, and, and the one on my right side was uh, quite large. And they did ultrasound, yeah, something ain't right. Well, let's get a biopsy. And I almost canceled the appointment. I almost didn't even go, because I didn't feel bad. So the doctor called us at 8 p.m., and he said that I had diffused large B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a great big mouthful of what the heck is that? So we had that PET scan, and we were in the car about 20 minutes. And my oncologist called me and says, yeah, I've scheduled you to start chemo next week. Just like that. <laughs> Why? Because the PET scan showed them the new portions uh, that they couldn't see with the CT scan, and they were large. That's all she said is large. Wouldn't tell me how big. Didn't really matter. They were there, right? We'd gone through our first six rounds of the first chemotherapy and had PET scans and, and saw good results, but not the ones we're looking for. Briefly, it was devastating, you know, very briefly, but then you go to the next oncologist and you have choices, you have options, you've got hope. We just have to fight harder. And I think that was kind of a, just a really big takeaway of it doesn't do any good to be angry or upset. I just will not give it that power. And as long as we have a tool in our toolbox to help you know, continue on, fight the fight, do what we need to do. We went in and it was, it was um, cut and dry. This is what we're looking at. And it was down to a uh, stem cell transplant or CAR-T. And CAR-T was the one that he felt would give us the highest odds. The bigger piece of this journey is that um, what he said is that if you had received this diagnosis a year ago, I would have sent you home and told you to get your affairs in order. After the chemotherapy, those in my neck and my clavicle uh, disappeared. The ones behind my stomach did not, so the CAR-T came into play there and, and did its thing. And here we are. I hope it never comes back. I hope I never have to see the expression in my wife's face while I go through that again. It's my hope. I agree with Sean in the fact that I, you know, cancer is a part of our life. I just have to be as strong as I can and be the support and do whatever it is that we need to do. You cannot worry about tomorrow. All we can do is fight today.